Yeah, I'm all right. Yes. <laughs> 
Extra. I know when you're busy, I've got work to do, and then vice versa. But I, I appreciate you. Thank you. I don't know if you to do Right. Nuts, vegetation. And in this case, 
on TikTok where somebody was doing that and then they fell in uh-huh. and then they went underneath the one thing and then underneath the other thing and then the guy who came to try to help her, she took him out she took and he fell on top yeah. of her and they said, this is how my day's going and I <laughs> so relate. <laughs>
select yes or no. Oh. The majority yes vote is required on the first question for the governor to be recalled. Now, if you vote yes, you move on to the next question, which asks who should replace Newsom if he is recalled. You then select one of 46 candidates running in this recall election, including nine Democrats and 24 Republicans. Some of the candidates who are receiving the most media attention and performing best in polls, at least so far, Democrat, YouTuber, Kevin Paprat, you can see right there on your screen, Republican yeah, candidates, including top 2018 gubernatorial candidate John Cox, radio host Larry Elder, former San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, and former Olympian and TV personality Caitlyn Jenner. Now, I know a lot of people uh, want to know about where you can find one of these early voting centers. Locator.lavote.net. Again, locator.lavote.net. You can go type in your location, whether it be a specific address or just your city. That's where I put in Long Beach because that's where I'm at this morning. And three different uh, locations popped up, one of them being MOLA. So, again, the website for you on the bottom of your screen if you want to know where you can go to one of these early voting centers to access information. There you have it. That's the very latest out here in Long Beach. Coming up next hour, hopefully we can get inside because it will be open at that hour. We can see and get a feel for what the voting centers are like. I'm Megan Tatlis at Long Beach. Mark and Lynette, I'll send it back to you in Hollywood. Megan, thank you so much for that. A modern, real-life rom-com is going viral on Twitter after two people swiping so well found out they have a very special thing in common. Twitter user Jimno says after matching with a woman on Tinder, he started texting made an incredible discovery. It turns out the woman was actually the former owner of the oh. Black Lab. Wow. Gave him up. Back in 2018, the pair decided oh, to go on a date. Of course. Oh, the dog came along. Jim No shared the bizarre coincidence on Twitter. Oh, the story quickly won over people's hearts. Okay, no. She uh, she does not get a date because I, she gave her dog up for adoption. <laughs> you are dead to me, lady. No. But wait. No. Well, <laughs> There, there might, be, there might be a reason, an appropriate reason. There might be circumstances we don't know, Why? right? There could be something could have happened. She could, like, she seems fine. She's on she Tinder looking for a date, so she didn't abandon the dog. She didn't, like, she. We don't know that she didn't abandon the dog on that. We should find out. Yeah. We should call her. Can you tell how that much? You abandoned him now, like you did that. Ah, I'm sure the hate mail is coming in now for me saying that. Ah, there's always a way. There's always a way. Well, Onyx has a new happy home, and now maybe he's going to have two parents. Uh, speaking of dogs who need homes, uh, before we get to weather, I have to talk to you about Camelo. Listen to these sweet little snuggles. Hey, but if you want to go home, walk back, where does he go? He wants to sleep and play with his squeaky toys. He is good with other dogs, but they say no cats play. So if you are interested, if you want to meet Canelo, reach out to Lisa from Frankie, Lola, and Friends Rescue. You can see their website on the screen. But Instagram's probably the best way to get in touch with her. You can see that on the screen as well. And if you adopt Canelo or any dog you see here, my nonprofit will give you pet food for three months to get you started. You want to keep playing that video out. It is so cute. Oh, he's such a good boy. Still have a home. So if you are looking, Canelo is looking too. Love your uh, outside, we're looking at our downtown Los Angeles camera, seeing sunshine today. Temperatures will be above average once again. Yesterday, we were above average. It is 88 degrees. Currently, it is 96 already in Palm Springs. It's 61 degrees in Oxnard, pretty comfortable. Still 81 for Van Nuys. It's warmed up to 75 in Lancaster, also 75 degrees downtown. So we are all much warmer right now than this time yesterday. With the exception of Oxnard, you're a degree cooler. For Lancaster, eight degrees warmer in Van Nuys. It's all thanks to high pressures continuing to build over the regions. Also, while we saw shallow marine layer today, some of us not seeing any cloud cover at all, waking up to sunshine. By the middle of the week, though, monsoonal moisture returns. We'll see more clouds, you'll feel the humid weather, and we could see some thunderstorms. What we need to talk about is heat, because these advisories are very important. Everyone in this orange shaded area, in the next hour, LA and Ventura County.
mountains, you will be under a heat advisory. For Riverside, San Bernardino County, you are already under that heat advisory. Excessive heat warning for this pink color, that goes into effect Monday and lasts through Tuesday. So we do have a few more days of these hot temperatures. Nice. Relative humidity percentages, we are starting to the first drop. They will continue mm. to. Anytime they get below 20%, it becomes mm. potentially yeah, dangerous. Should a fire start, has the potential to nice. spread very quickly. Van Nuys, 18% already. So any of these areas, you will see those strong winds this afternoon, those triple digits, and dry conditions, elevated fire danger. So if you're doing anything outdoors with a fire source, I know we do all like to barbecue on the weekend, just be extra careful. So high desert triple digits all the way through Wednesday, and then you'll see the return of more cloud cover temperatures do go up to the 90s by Thursday. Slight chance of rain Thursday into Friday. And for the coves, above average today, 81 degrees, mostly sunny and breezy. Cloudy for you starting Monday, and that cloud cover will last all the way through the week. Temperatures, though, for the close to average. Back to you, Beth. Uh, act. Identity is not a joke, Jim. That's what they call it murder. Not a bunch of shit. Oh, that's 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 not a bunch of shit. Right? From the office. This is awesome. So cute. Um, okay, so Jinko jeans were oh, yes. Jinko jeans were a cultural phenomenon back That's in the nineties. Ultra wide, baggy, can't wait. We talked about these not too long ago. So now Goldfish is teaming up with Classic Jean Company for a limited edition re-release pants big enough to hold an entire bag of goldfish crackers. They had to put mushroom show. Yeah. There's no way they would have known about Jinko jeans unless we brought it up several weeks.
Let's draw. Power to two, sure. Your prize also includes VIP parking. Again, the show is Sunday, the 26th at 8 p.m. Good luck. What do you know? What happened? What time? Oh, this is not right. Say yes. Yeah, I love it. I hear this band, Greta Van Fleet. Have you heard of them? No, no, no. It's unreal. It's almost like someone went into a time machine, went back and got Led Zeppelin, and brought them to the contemporary times. But they're playing at the Greek, I think, on October 27th.
top features include front fog lights, AM FM stereo with a single CD player, and MP3 WMA auxiliary. Available quad headlamps. Available memory system for seats, radio, mirrors, and pedals. And remote keyless entry. The available Uconnect system provides a Sirius satellite radio, turn-by-turn -turn navigation system, cell phone integration, and web access for passengers, which are all controlled by the voice command feature of this system. The trailering package includes an integrated trailer brake controller. The 2011 Ram 3500. It continues to dominate among high-performance vehicles.
about a week ago, I did this story. It was about a shooting in West Hollywood, and I interviewed a neighbor who found one of his one of the gunshot victims bleeding on his kitchen floor. Well, he didn't hesitate. His name is Tyle Maloney. Uh, he, uh, Mahoney, Tyle Maloney. He did not hesitate. He helped them. He didn't care that they were. He didn't know what was going on. He didn't know who shot them. This is me interviewing him. All right. So he tells me the whole story about how scary it was to find a gunshot victim in his kitchen. But he said he seemed like a good kid. He was never afraid for his life. He just wanted to help him, so he did. He helped him. Now it turns out that the victims were in LA. They were visiting from New York when they were robbed at gunpoint. They were so grateful to Tyler Mahoney for helping them that they went back to the scene, went back to his house to thank him. And then look at this. They all decided to go to dinner. I think that this, there's something they do. There's something about the story just warms my heart. Thank you, Tyler Mahoney, Sherman, and Stephen for turning bad into good. It's exactly what my link up with that segment is all about. Isn't that amazing? Awesome. I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up because I remember that story. You always kind of wonder, like, hey, what happened? What happened? He came right back to say thank you. And then they all went to dinner. Is it Tyle? Tyle. His name is Tyle. He seems like a nice guy. Super nice guy. And, you know, he just did the right thing.